Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you are new. So today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in for the third week of August. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, we are going to be checking in from the 17th through the 23rd. So the first transaction would be on the 17th and it was a Dollar Tree transaction, which is coming out of groceries and it was a total of $9.00. Moving on, on the 18th, I did have a sinking fund transaction and it was for the TikTok shop. I spent $43 on those towels, like those viral towels, like car towels that were all over TikTok. And I have to say that they worked really, really well. Um, so I got four towels, they're pretty big towels, and it was $43 for four. So I thought that was a great deal um, because they do work really, really well. On the 19th, I did spend from restaurants, and that was um, Taco Bell, no, McDonald's. McDonald's for $4. I think I went to grab a breakfast sandwich in the morning before work, and that was $4. And then on the 20th, I did have a Safeway transaction and that was a total of $20. It was like one transaction per day. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it worked out. So $20 for the 20th. Um, on the 21st, it was a no spend day. So I'm gonna mark that off with a no spend sticker. On the 22nd, I did go to Costco and I spent from groceries and gas as well. So for gas, I did spend $47 for a full tank of gas. And then I did spend $23 at Costco and it's coming out of groceries. Moving on to the 23rd, I did get my eyebrows done and that was $16 that is coming out of beauty. And that would be it for my spending for the third week of August. So for my weekly check-in spread, I did draw some lines here because I didn't add anything this week. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, for dates, I actually did not spend anything during this week. So it will be zero, zero dollars spent. I had 24 remaining last week, so we have 24 remaining this week. Moving on to gas, we did spend $47. Let me mark it off from my calendar really quick. So we have Costco for 47. And I did have 55 remaining last week, so that gives me $8 remaining. Moving on to groceries, we did have, I think, two transactions. So we have Safeway for 20 and then Costco for 23 which gives me 43 and then plus 9 That gives me 52 did I mark that one off as well? Yes. Okay. So I spent 52 and I did have 75 remaining last week. So that gives me $23 left. Moving on to restaurants. I did spend $4 at McDonald's. So I spent four and I had 24 so that gives me 20 remaining. And then for unbudgeted, we don't have anything. So the only thing I have is my sinking fund transactions left. Oh, I forgot about spending. Well, it was zero, but that's all I have left. Um, for spending, we're bringing down the 15. For unbudgeted, it was zero. But I'm bringing down the negative 60 from last week since it still falls into the same paycheck. So negative 60, oops, 
there we go here I have $100 in change I don't have any fives so I'm just working with um, 20s 10s and ones this is 21s so 20 30 40 50 60 and then 220 so that makes it 100 okay so let's go ahead and get started with the unstuffing I do have some receipts that I do have to scan into fetch fetch is an app that you can download to your phone you can scan receipts to give you points for the receipts and the points you can go ahead and redeem for gift cards so I am going to have my link on the description box down below and then I'll have the code on the screen as well so first off we do have dates and we did spend 24 so 21 2 3 4 I might not need all of this change but here we have it then for gas we're unstuffing 47 so we have 50 we're gonna bring back three one two three so we have eight dollars remaining in gas moving on to groceries we're unstuffing 52 so 20 40 50 one two Okay, we might actually not need uh, not need all of this money, especially the one dollar bills. But um, I wanted to make sure that I had enough money just in case. Moving on to restaurants, we're unstuffing four. So if we have four dollars here, and we have twenty remaining, and then for spending, we should have fifteen. One. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So we don't actually need all of this money because we're all done with the wallet. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 25, 30, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 20 makes it 100. So now I'm going to calculate how much I should have left or in the tray. So we have 47, 52, and 4, which is 103, which, it, let's see, 47, 52, and 4. Okay, there we go. Well, yeah, that's still wrong. I maybe counted the ones wrong. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I didn't count the ones wrong. So it could have been that I didn't count the ones right when I put them on the tray when I had my $100. I'm not sure, but let's make sure that we at least have 100 in two. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh. I'm very confused now because 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 5, 6, 7. We have $24 more than I what I calculated. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that I have the right amount on my envelopes and we'll just call it a day because I am very confused. Oh, there we go. Because I completely took out all the money from dates. I'm not sure. So 21, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So 24 here. And I just completely mixed up all of the money. So I don't even know, like I already completely mixed it up. So I'm not even going to count. I'm just going to make sure that the amounts that I have in the envelopes are correct. So 20, 1, 2, 3. So 23 for groceries, that's correct. For gas it should be 8. Oops, making a mess here. That's correct. Restaurants has 20 and spending should have 15. That's correct. Okay. 
we're all set there don't know what I did with dates but we figured it out <laughs> so next we are going to my sinking funds because we do need to go ahead and unstuff those so let's see I know I am going to need some change for this I'm going to bring out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two one dollar bills, just two more. And I'm just going to have this as change one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten dollars and ones. That should be enough, I believe, if I do need the change. So, first, oops. Let's see. We are going to car maintenance. No, let's just do beauty. We're already here. So for beauty, we have 16. We're going to take 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're bringing back 4. So we have 50, 70, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4. $84 in beauty. And then... Let me go ahead and mark that off. Car maintenance. We are unstuffing 43. 30, 45. Okay. 45, so we need two back. So we should have 302. Yes. So one, two, three hundred, one, two. Perfect. And that money that I just unstuffed is going back to my bank so I can pay off my credit card. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my calendar. We're going to mark off those two transactions off my calendar since they have been paid. So eyebrows and TikTok. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.